Hi, my name is Ben McMurtry and I'm the band director at Mentor Memorial Middle School in Mentor, Ohio, and I'm speaking with you today about the way that I use scale and rhythm chunks with my band students. Uh, students in mentor schools begin band in grade five where they have weekly lessons once per week on their instruments in small groups. Three of our elementary schools funnel into Memorial Middle School and so I usually see roughly 80 to 90 students by myself in the band class. Of those 80 to 90, there are also mixed in between 10 and 20 students who are beginning band for the very first time. So the use of chunks allows me to um, integrate the students who are new with the students who have experience and also to make sure that as they begin their second year of instruction, if they've played before, that their um, mastery on basic and important skills is really there. Also really liked it in the second year, the students can come in and review things in a new book and uh, feel like they've moved on from what they did in fifth grade, but it also ensures that they're, um, they're really at a high level on those skills. Hi, my name is Josh Van Gorder. I'm the band director at Spencerville Schools in Spencerville, Ohio. And uh, I've been using the Chunks program with my kids for about eight years now. Uh, we like to use the Chunks program starting in fifth grade as soon as the students can play the first five notes out of their method book. And uh, I use it fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Uh, hopefully some of the students finish it before then, but uh, we definitely see really positive results all the way through from fifth grade through the junior high levels. By the time they get in high school, uh, we've moved on from the Chunks book and are ready to work on more complex literature. Hi, I'm Julie Bounds from Santa Teresa High School in San Jose, California, and I'm going to talk today to you a little bit about why I love chunks. So I um, teach high school band. I have three concert bands and a percussion group as well. And the reason why we decided to start using chunks is we were looking for a way to encourage our students to practice when we started having block schedule. So we weren't going to be seeing our students every day anymore. So I used rhythm and scale chunks uh, first with my concert band. I started last year. And most of my students got past bronze level and into silver. And the students really enjoyed the program because they were able to test um, at their level and their pace. And if they didn't get something right, the exercises weren't super long, but they could go back and repeat it again. I have students that come from me from a variety of different backgrounds and also have played anywhere from six months to um, two years before they come to high school. Now that the freshmen have already completed the Rhythm and Scale Chunks program, at least at the bronze if not silver level, they're now in our symphonic band. And so right now I'm integrating the symphonic band, introducing them this year into using the program. My goal is that anyone who in the future would audition for our advanced band would be all the way through the gold level before prior, uh, prior to auditioning for that group. I use the scale and rhythm chunks uh, with grades five through eight. Uh, we have an introductory period at the beginning of fifth grade uh, where the kids are in sectionals. Um, I don't really use it at that point, but starting in with the third quarter, uh, the kids then choose uh, for sure if whether they're going to be in band or choir and at that point is when I start to use them and I use them all the way through uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. As soon as I distribute the Chunks books to our beginners, it is basically go time. And uh, I will have them checking off chunks in class, usually in groups from 20 to 40 students. And I will bounce around from student to student, assessing them quickly and effectively. Uh, they either check off the chunk or I let them know what needs to happen in order for them to get it checked off and then they get back to work. Um, I've experienced so much success this way because students are motivated. They are excited. We like to uh, have chunk challenges and uh, students, you know, get a little bit competitive and it's always friendly competition, uh, always reinforcing the golden rule of band that we exist to make each other better. And the students will work hard and, and you will see them help each other uh, in order to check off chunks, especially when there's a reward involved and they enjoy that very much. Uh, three years ago, my district cut our assistant band director. So as of right now, it is just me to instruct five through 12. 
um, a band for each grade plus a high school. So I, uh, doing in-class assessment would be very difficult, would be very time consuming. Um, so I have decided to use the chunks um, in an email format. So the students email them to me and then I grade each one and send them assessment back in their, in their email. And this obviously doesn't take any class time and, but it still gives me a way to assess the kids each quarter without, um, like I said, taking a lot of class time. So being that I have a large number of students by myself, efficient and quick um, and, and purposeful assessment is really important. On top of that, I really like the ability to use chunks as a way to guide the students' practice so I make sure that they, they are practicing uh, worthwhile things and the things that they need to practice in order to take that next step in their instrumental growth. Um, so as I kind of alluded to, most of the chunks that I use are used in a practice um, assignment kind of a setting. We're a one-to-one -one school, so I'm very fortunate that all my students have school-provided iPads, which allows them to interact with Schoology, uh, which is a program that allows them to upload really any kind of artifact, including audio and video recordings, um, onto their iPads, which then I get on my own platform. It allows me to very quickly listen to the students um, and uh, provide feedback through my own audio, video, or written comments. Uh, I've also begun to use some of the videos that are provided on the Scale and Rhythm Chunks um, YouTube page, which are really beneficial to um, provide additional instruction and not only feedback. So, um, you know, it just keeps getting better with the, with the way that the Chunks allow me to interact with my students, provide feedback, hear them more frequently, and I feel like that hearing them more frequently and the individual feedback that I can give them, it's, it's really helped on top of all the learning outcomes for me to develop a better relationship with the kids and feel like I know them and they're playing a lot better because I hear them more often and I'm interacting back and forth with them on the Schoology platform much more frequently. Scale and Rhythm Chunks has been something that I have been using for I believe five years now, maybe six, and uh, being at different schools with this has also shown me that depending on the situation I'm in changes the way that I use the chunks. So currently this suits my kids the best I think but um, using them at other schools where we had team teaching you know I used it a little more in class. Um, I find though that no matter which way I've used it it's improved the students ability to read rhythms to understand keys and even though we still need to teach that stuff in the class setting I find that the individuals um, get it much more quickly and that kind of uh, builds some momentum through the class so that um, you know regardless of where the students are in the chunks there's always some kids who have who've mastered the skills who can kind of lead others and their thought process of the way that they figure out chunks seems to carry through to the class in general <laughs>